Divide things, not families. Here are some tips on how to photograph personal property in a home. Start with a yellow legal pad, numbers or letters and little tent cards for small items, a pen, and a tape measure. Individual photos are often taken if you're going to list lots of information about each item, or you can do group photos and use one photo for several items. On things like rugs or paintings where you might want to show the quality of the knots or signature of the artist, take a couple of photos. Take notes on things that you'll want to remember when you're listing, and then make a photo of that notes page as the last photo in the room. You start by photographing the rooms room by room. It puts the photographs in an easy way to click on to view a larger view if you'd like. You can assign it to the various items. When it comes time to list and value the items, or if you choose to value, you're simply looking at the photographs and typing in what you see. If you're using this as a moving tool, use the handy idea of putting a box number in front of the asset name. Then it will sort all the items that have been packed into boxes and put all those items together so you know what went where. You can then sort further by which room it was packed in or where it's going. Because we're a web-based tool, there are so many different ways that you can organize and view the different assets. If you've ever looked at appraisals that come in a big stack of PDFs with photographs and all the details, you have to flip through them. You know, with FairSplit, you just click on a header, you sort everything by furniture, by value. It just makes it very, very easy to find and view and make decisions on things. For example, here we're deciding all these items we're going to sell. We're not keeping those. Let's say you were moving your dad, John, to a new house. You can add custom distribution places. So if I know that I'm sending something to John's new living room, all I have to do is create that as a destination and then assign those items at the current home as to where they're going. This makes moving so much easier, especially if you're shipping cross-country or having someone else unpack it that didn't pack it. FairSplit has developed a rapid asset listing way that lets you put all the rooms of your house and properties, then upload the photos you've taken of things in that room. Ideally, you may have taken photos that are a single photo of each item or a photo of the group of items you're offering, like a bedroom set, for example. And then the nice thing about this new system is rather than having to look at the photos and then type somewhere else, you literally click on the photo, the top portion of the photo name, you edit to the name you want to appear in your asset list. If there are more details you think they may want to know, like the size of the TV, the brand, uh, how old it is, you can put all those in there and they will appear in the details area of an asset. This is a group, in other words, a set of two. You would list those together. And then if there's any history, if the, these are real prints or real, you know, signed artist prints, you could put that in the details area. The great thing is this now can be converted instantly by clicking list an asset for each photo and any photos that you have edited by adding a name, it will convert those instantly to assets that appear in your list. The only thing left to do is to put which category the asset would be in, like electronics for a television or furniture for a bedroom set. Now, if you're someone who's used to working with spreadsheets, we're not asking you to change that. Go ahead and download our Excel spreadsheet. If you're an appraiser and you want to work from this, please be our guest. You can put all the same information you would normally put in an appraisal. But instead of having to go photocopy and give big stacks of things to people, all you do now is create the information, invite those participants to create a private account with this tool, and they can go in and look at all the information you created, sorting it and making it easy to do. Now, if you're the executor of your family estate and you're stuck with trying to list all these things and are a bit overwhelmed, assign something to your sister. Have her be a lister and have her do the living room and dining room while you do the bedroom and den. Get some help with it. And then if you choose to use this as a tool in your business and you want to offer this to your clients, you can put your company logo, your law firm logo, share this with your clients and co-brand it with us.
Printing the reports is sometimes the best feature of this, um, you know, after you've peacefully divided everything, because there's so many different ways you can customize the reports. You can use the default reports we've made, or your family may want to see all the artwork done by value in the living room. The key thing is we're here to help you divide things, not families.